Okay. Let us see another problem on consolidated financial statements. Balance sheet of Abra Limited and its subsidiary Dabra Limited drawn up as at 31st March 2011 are as under. So you have two company, one is Abra and the other one is Dabra. What we are told is that Abra is the holding company of Dabra or Dabra is the subsidiary of Abra. So you have plant and machinery, stock, debtors, share in S Limited. This S is actually Dabra Limited. Okay. So basically, we are told that Abra Limited owns 2,400 shares in Dabra Limited, which is, say, 2,400 divided by how many shares are there for Dabra Limited? 4 lakh shares of 100 each. So this will be 4 lakh shares divided by 100 or 4000 shares. This 0 goes off here, this 0 goes off here. Which gives me basically 3 upon 5th of share capital of Dabra. So Abra holds 3 5th of the share capital of Dabra Limited. Then I have bill receivable. I have bills payable, sundry creditors, profit and loss account, general reserve and share capital. Abra holds 2004 shares, 100 shares in Dabra Limited which were acquired on 39-2010. So 39-2010 is when the acquisition happened. So acquisition date. And the balance sheet date is 31-3-2011. So there is a difference of 6 months here. So the date when I have to calculate the pre-acquisition profits is the acquisition date which is 39-2010. As on 1-4-2010, general reserve of Dabra Limited was 35,000, profit and loss was 30,000 and plant and machinery stood at 3 lakh. Okay, let me just start jotting down this information. So what are the few things that I need to calculate? I need to do the computation for cost of control or goodwill okay I need to do an analysis of profit of Dabra okay I need to prepare the balance sheet consolidated balance sheet Abra Limited. Now let me go back. Abra stock includes goods worth rupees 15,000 on which Dabra made a profit of 2,000. Okay. Plant and machinery of Dabra Limited was revalued to rupees 3,30,000 on date of acquisition of shares, but there has been no adjustment for the same in the books of accounts. So on the acquisition date, my plant and machinery was 3,30,000 but there was no adjustment which was done. No additional plant and machinery has been purchased since then. Bill receivable of Dabra Limited includes 30,000 due from Abra Limited. Okay, that's fine. So should I start preparing the consolidated balance sheet? Let's first, the simplest step, we'll consolidate whatever is the simple stuff. So plant and machinery, well there are quite a few adjustments here so I am not touching it right now. Stock or maybe let me just start preparing the consolidated balance sheet. So plant and machinery, 
This is 1 lakh for Abra, 2 lakh 70,000 for Dabra. So Abra is 1 lakh. Of course, I am using it A. You should use it, the complete name. Because in the examination, you need to have the complete name. So 3 lakh 70,000 is the plant and machinery. Plus, there is some revaluation which is there, which I will come to later on, but I am just marking it out here. Stock. Now, stock basically includes 80,000 for Abra and 1,70,000 for Dabra. Okay, let me move to stock. Or should we leave a line here? I guess yes. Stock, Abra, Dabra. 80,000 and 1,70,000. Okay, there is some adjustments that we will come back afterwards. Debtor. Eighty thousand, eighty-eight thousand and forty thousand. There is no adjustment here. Eighty-eight thousand, forty thousand. This is for Abra, this is for Dabra. And this I can put in the outer column right away because there is no adjustment which is envisaged here. Then shares in Dabra, okay, so this one is done, I am just marking it off. Shares in Dabra, 4 lakh. Now this amount, which is investment, where does it goes? It goes to the cost of control. So cost of control, the investment value, or the amount I have paid for four, the shares is 4 lakh rupees. Okay? So I have moved it from here, and I have put it there. So one removal, one addition. Bill receivable, 12,000 and 90,000. Bill receivable, 12,000, 90,000. There is an adjustment here, which we will just do. Let's move on to the credit side. Actually, you should not put a tick here, because there is some adjustment which is pending. Bills payable. 30,000, 10,000. Okay, very good. Bills payable. 30,000, 10,000. You should always put these commas here. These are useful. Well, now we can make one of the adjustments. Bill receivable of Dabra Limited includes 30,000 due from Abra Limited. So, bill receivable of this company includes 30,000, which is due from Abra Limited, which is reflected here. So what is the entry that you make? I mean, because these are intercompany balances, you will kind of knock them off. 30,000 is the amount. So I will reduce 30,000 from here. And I will reduce 30,000 from here. Intercompany. Okay, and you write this as intercompany. So 12 plus 90 minus 30. This will give you 72,000. Okay? 30 plus 10 minus 30. Okay, this is simple. 10,000. And with this, my this adjustment is done. Okay? Very good. So this is done. I can just kind of remove this asterisk from here. Sundry creditors. 30,000, 30,000. No adjustments. Simple. Sundry creditors. A, 30,000, D, 30,000, 60,000, right? Well, is there anything? Profit and loss, general reserve, equity share capital. Okay, profit and loss account. I mean, this obviously has to be divided in various parts, but this can move as it is. So we have equity share capital of 5 lakh, which is nothing but Abra Limited. We have general reserve and we have profit and loss account. General reserve, so this 5 lakh is gone, is 40,000 and PNL is 80,000. 40,000, 80,000. 
right? I mean, you will realize that this is extremely, extremely easy. I mean, there's really nothing which is to be done here. Okay. So is there anything else? No. So now let us see one by one on the calculations. What I did was, the easier items, I've just kind of plotted them and I have knocked them off from my calculation. So effectively, this entire portion is gone. Okay. These two are also gone. Debtors are gone. This is gone. And bill receivable is gone. Let's move on to the next lot. Okay. Let's take these adjustments one by one. So first is what? First you need to compute the cost of control. So I invested 4 lakh in this company. Okay. Let me write down the other important thing also. I invested 4 lakh into this company. What did I get? I got the face value of shares. Okay. So how many shares do I hold? I hold 2,400 shares. And each share is 100 each. So what is the value of the shares that I own? It is 2,40,000. Now you must be wondering, where is this 2,40,000 sitting right now? This 2,40,000 is sitting within this 4 lakh, right? Because that's the share capital which is there. Now because I have reduced it from this portion, so effectively I am removing it from here. Now what happens to the balance 1 lakh 60,000? 4 lakh minus 2 lakh 40,000, that is the shares which is owned by the minority. So in minority, I write down face value of shares. 1600 shares, 1 lakh 60,000 is the value. So what I have done is, I have plotted this 400,000 now. So I just remove this also, like this. Now, general reserve of Dabra Limited is 70,000. And what we are told is that as on 1-4-2010, the general reserve of Dabra Limited was 35,000. So let's see this. Now, there are three dates. One is 1-4-2010, when the value of the general reserve was 35,000. Right? This is the value which was given here. Then, we are sitting today when it is 70,000. So you have 31, 3, 2010, when this is 70,000. So definitely, this part of the general reserve is pre-acquisition. Why? Because the acquisition happened on 39, 2010. So if you see the general reserve, pre-acquisition, Right? So there's a pre-acquisition general reserve that you have or you can write this as capital reserve. Then you have some part of this as revenue reserve and then you have revenue p &L account. So the general reserve which we see 35,000 out of that was accumulated as on 1-4 2010. Acquisition happened on this days. Anything before this date is what? It is capital in nature. So I write it down as pre-acquisition capital reserve. Okay. Now, if during the year, how much is the general reserve movement? General reserve during the year is equal to